I walk out the door and the sun comes out. And a special little look. So I skipped recording for Vita one day. I was in the hospital. I'm fine. I'm totally fine now. Well, not totally fine, but I'm, hang I'm hanging in there. I didn't bring my phone with me to the hospital because I went via ambulance. I didn't even think of bringing my phone. I just, I was so out of it and dizzy and weird and we were just rushing out that I didn't even think of bringing my phone. That kind of sucks because it wasn't as serious as I thought it was. I thought I had pneumonia, I didn't. It's just bronchial asthma. But um, because I didn't bring my phone, I didn't record any of it. So I didn't have anything for a vlog. And honestly, when I got home, I was too sick. So I'm off by one day. I am on my way out now to the movies. And I'm gonna go see Train Spotting 2. Woohoo! I love it after it rains. Not a fan of Times Square. The apartment you had all the lights off. Writing a song for a song. A mathematical equation that's all. Put together pieces that your friends will all solve. Who are you waiting for? Who I don't hate Times Square. I actually really think it's an amazing place to be but it's too crowded i don't do well with crowds <laughs> otherwise it's great <laughs> it's backwards but we're seeing train spotting too we're at amc in times square and i am with j sharp hi hello his hair is still blue yes <laughs> Spotting was really good. I hadn't seen train spotting in I'm gonna say like 10 years, maybe more than that. But it was really great to see everyone was still involved in the movie. So if you didn't see train spotting 2, go see train spotting 2. It's good, it's worth it. If you're a fan of the first one, go see the second one. Motherfucker, just missed a train.